All right, guys, it is tip time. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and just some thoughts on what's involved in being a marshal for the FLW. So if it's the first time you're thinking about doing it and you've got some, maybe the same questions or concerns that I had, um, well, this will help you out. All right, so tip number one. Let's talk about your clothing and sun protection and all that good stuff. Guys, you are gonna be out in the middle of the water you're gonna have no protection from the elements. So you will be facing the sun or rain, whatever, full blast. So make sure you dress appropriate. For the sun, I suggest you wear long pants, some nice light pants. You're gonna to wanna to wear full jerseys or your martial jersey, bring your hat. You're gonna want a buff that covers you up, bring your sunglasses. Uh, if you're gonna wear sandals like me, make sure you bring some sunblock to put on your feet. So the only places I got burned were the tops of my feet, where the sandals didn't cover it. And my jersey was a bit short on the first day. It would stop here. So uh, I actually got uh, burned like on this section of my wrist on the first day, which was ridiculous. So make sure you bring enough clothing. Bring rain gear, okay? Make sure you bring a full bib rain gear and a raincoat because uh, uh, anyway, on, on Lake Champlain, the weather can change like this. It's crazy how it can go rain, sun, rain, sun, which we saw on uh, day three. It was like that. So make sure you bring rain gear with you. Um, there is priority parking at the uh, at the marina for the marshals. So when you bring your truck, you bring your car, just bring extra gear, bring extra clothing. So if you get there and you underdress and you realize, wow, it's pretty cold out here when you you know when you first get out of the vehicle, uh, layer up. Bring your layers, you can always strip your layers off, okay? So just make sure that you bring the correct amount of clothing, be prepared for rain and sun or you will regret it. The other thing is too, I highly recommend you get a mask, okay? This is a fish heads mask. This can be a lifesaver in the rain. When you are running 70 miles an hour and you're getting pelted in the face by rain, it hurts, it sucks. So I would highly recommend you bring goggles, bring a mask, bring something. I borrowed this from a friend. Uh, and this would be a lifesaver in the rain. So I actually did get caught in a little bit of rain, just some light rain when we were making a run uh, in the chase boat on day three. And I can tell you that just that little tiny bit of rain, I didn't have the mask on, it hurt. So in a full downpour, woo, protect your face. So either you know get a hoodie that closes up completely or something, uh, or get a mask. It's, uh, uh, this, I know this would have been a lifesaver had I needed it. The next item is one of my favorites, of course, and that's food and drink. Absolutely make sure that you bring enough water with you. The pro will give you room in his cooler to put in a, a water bottle or two, okay? Um, make sure you stay hydrated, guys. Super important. You gotta stay hydrated. Make sure you get your electrolytes. Make sure you're, you're you know, getting the food that you need. Bring a couple of sandwiches. I actually brought like four sandwiches with me, a couple of snacks and a bunch of water. Um, and what I did was I actually brought with me, that's what I had in my backpack or in a separate little baggie. Uh, I would actually bring with me a full uh, shaker cup, a big, you know, a big thermos uh, full of water and ice. And in there, I would put an electrolyte supplement. So I use something called um, Encaged, which is a product from Caged Muscle that is meant to be an intramuscular workout uh, supplement. You put it in water and it's just electrolytes and other stuff to help uh, keep your energy up and, uh, and keep you well hydrated in the gym. So that's what I, I use that at the gym. So I brought that. So that's what I would start with. And then I would have my water throughout the day um, so yeah make sure you're eating well and when you're cut when you come off the water when you're done go and have a good meal make sure you eat properly get your sodium because the Sun just bakes the salt out of your system so it's important and that's how you get sunstroke so make sure that you keep your hydration level up and make sure you eat properly and of course get your sleep or else you're gonna be uh, make sure you get your sleep otherwise you know you're gonna be exhausted you have to consider also that you know you're going to be doing this for several days it's not just one day that you can kind of destroy your system and then recover. You could do this, you could be doing this for, you're gonna do it for at least two days, you could be doing this for three or four days. So super important, uh, eat and sleep properly, okay? Okay, next up, pack light. Now, this seems really difficult, I'm not gonna lie, because for me, just packing my rain gear, uh, just packing my rain gear in my, in my backpack, already my backpack was kind of full, and I had camera equipped with, with, with me, so, while it's very important that you bring the right amount of clothing, pack as light as you can. You know, don't bring a ton of stuff with you. Um, 
because there's not gonna be that much room on the pros boat. Some pros will give you a, a, a compartment full to yourself, uh, like uh, like David Dudley did for me, and other guys will. You have to keep your bag at your feet, and they just offer you some room. In, they just offer you some room in the cooler. So super important. Try and pack as light as you can. Don't bring stuff you don't need to. Um, so what I would have in my bag is I had my my rain bib, my raincoat, and I just roll them up. I roll them up tight and put them in the bottom of my bag. I brought. Uh, I had my food and my camera equipment, and that was pretty much it. Speaking of rain gear, it's raining now, and it's probably making a really annoying sound on the audio. <laughs> it's actually pouring really hard right now, so let's take a quick little break, and uh, we'll keep going once the rain is not falling so hard. Okay, so the rain is slacking a little bit, so we'll, we'll keep going. Uh, next up is organization. Stay organized on the boat at all times. So you're going to be taking stuff out of your backpack. You're going to be taking your phone out to give an update to the uh, to the uh, social media guys at FLW. You're going to be taking. Uh, you're going to be writing notes uh, or however you're tracking the fish. You're going to be taking out your clothing, your food, whatever. Stay organized. So when you take something out of your bag, close the bag up, put it away. If you're, you know, don't start leaving stuff lying around. Don't leave your bag open. Don't leave, you know, uh, if you take your hoodie off, don't leave your hoodie lying around. If you take your hoodie off because you're warm, put it away right away. You never know. The, your angler is going to look like he's he's got an anchor set up and he's just sitting there and he's parked there all day. And all of a sudden, boom! Trolling motors out and he's running to start the engine. He's putting on his his, his PFD. Don't screw around, so be ready. You never know, you might have to leave like this. So always be ready to be on the move, okay? And trust me, when that boat's moving, you don't want any of your stuff loose on the deck because you're gonna lose it, all right? I actually lost my hat. Um, so when I drive the when I drive my boat, I just take my hat and I just kind of tuck it under my leg. That's what I'm used to. So uh, on takeoff on day one, I just did not realize how fast we'd be going. Uh, so we took off and it was a bit bumpy, uh, and I kind of adjusted. I moved my leg uh, to get a better like to better brace myself. And all I saw from the corner of my eye was my hat go out the side. And that was my favorite hat, so I was pretty damn bummed about that. But I wasn't about to say like, uh, Mr. John Royals, can we turn the boat around? I lost my hat. Like, yeah, that's not gonna, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. So yeah, we, I took one for the team. <laughs> so uh, yeah, make sure you're organized, or you're gonna lose your stuff, or you're gonna piss off your angler. Okay, so stay organized. So in the same vein as staying organized, stay out of the angler's way. Okay, guys. So when he hooks up. And you know he's got you know something decent on there. Get out of his way, especially um, especially when he's trying to get his first five fish, because even a small fish could be a keeper. So what I what I did was, and I saw this on video. Uh, as soon as he would hook up, I would stand up and get to the back of the boat, uh, as far back as I could. Get out of his way. Don't be stepping on his live wells. You know, blocking that. Just get out of his road. Let the man work. You know, he's trying to win tens of thousands of dollars, if not, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So uh, just be ready to get out of their, get out of their way, let them work. Sometimes they're going to go in your seat because they got to sit there and change lures or, you know, whatever, whatever they're doing, just make sure you're out of their way. They'll really appreciate you not being in the road. Okay. And you know what? They're all so polite. They would never say anything, but I know that they appreciate having their space to work. Okay. Um, so yeah, so just make sure you're out of their way. Let them do their thing. Part of being organized is being on time. Don't be the guy that's late. The last thing you want are the FLW staff or the uh, you know the pro angler trying to figure out where you are. Make sure you communicate where to meet so you'll get a text the night before, the evening before, you get a text uh, with the details of who you're going to be fishing with, what their phone number is, what time is takeoff, what time do you have to report back to the ramp. So it's all there, so you just text your angler, okay, I'll meet you tomorrow morning, call them in the morning, I'm here, make sure you're on time, be there. Uh, if I remember correctly, I would be at the ramp by, Oh, is it 5.30? I can't remember what time, but they do tell you. I think it was 5.30 uh, because the takeoff is at 6.30. So yeah, be on time, be accountable. Don't be that guy that's late that shows up whenever he feels like it. Suck it up, be there early, okay? That's uh, So that's it, make sure you're on time. Okay, so next up, um, I would say don't be afraid to ask questions. And this is kind of a two-part thing. When you go to the meeting, the, uh, the FLW meeting, which is gonna be held on the day before day one, Make sure, if you have a question, ask it. Don't be shy. There's gonna be pros that are up there doing seminars. 
ask questions. Uh, you know, Bill Taylor is going to present. The social media guys are going to present. If you're not sure about something, ask. Also, there's a lot of guys that have already marshaled that are there. The guy that was sitting next to me uh, at, at the table, he had been he's been marshaling or he, no, sorry, he was a co angler for like 10 years and was marshaling, and he follows the whole season. He marshals everywhere that FLW goes. So this guy was just a wealth of information. It was great. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Same thing with your pros. When you go to meet your pros and stuff, and when you're fishing with them, don't be afraid when you see an opportunity to ask a question. Now, in terms of talking to them, you're gonna be able to gauge how much these guys wanna talk. Some wanna talk a bunch, some don't wanna talk at all. I actually heard a couple of the anglers saying that they didn't have co-anglers and it was weird because they had no one to talk to and they were just like, ah, I started talking to myself. So some of these guys do like to talk. Um, I would try and give uh, sections of like half an hour where I would not speak to the, to, to the angler unless he spoke to me because at some points they're, they want to focus on what they're doing. They got to concentrate, especially when they're bed fishing in Champlain. It can be tough to see the beds because the beds are deeper and the water isn't necessarily crystal clear in certain areas. So they, they got to concentrate. So I let them concentrate. But if they're talking to me, I'll talk. I mean, I'll talk. Um, I always tried to be positive. I tried to always give a positive vibe. I tried to encourage them, you know, so uh, and it was easy because I was having so much fun that my vibe was naturally positive. So I was making jokes, uh, you know, I would encourage them when they caught something. I'd be like, oh my God, that thing is sweet. I'd be like, nice. But I wasn't doing it like, I wasn't making an effort to do it. It was just natural. I mean, it was just, uh, yeah, I was just having such a good time. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to talk, you know, when you have the opportunity, but also know when to, to shut up, I guess. Yeah, know when to shut up. <laughs> Okay, next up, bring your own life preserver, your own PFD. Um, it's important that you do bring your own, and they will tell you several times, but don't forget to bring your own. So what I did was, I brought two. I brought my auto inflate for when I knew the weather was gonna be nice, so I brought my auto inflate, uh, and I brought a regular uh, Sea-Doo one, uh, just a regular foam one for on days that, in case it was gonna be heavy rain and wind, because I was afraid that with the with the crazy rain, and if you know somebody speared a wave and I got like a face full of water, I didn't want it to set off my uh, my automatic. So. I I brought two flotation devices and I just left them, uh, I would just leave them in the truck and when I got to the ramp, I'd look at the weather and uh, and, and take care from there. By the way, in terms of the weather, if you are uh, if you wanna keep track, there are free weather radar apps that you can download on your phone that will show you real time where the where the rain systems are. So you can actually keep it on. Uh, uh, on day three, I was telling my, uh, the guy who was driving my boat, uh, the driving the, uh, the camera boat, Brett, uh, sorry, the chase boat. Uh, I was actually updating him on when weather was about to hit us. Uh, and I did the same thing when I was in the boat with David Dudley towards the end of the day. I was keeping my eye and I could see where the systems were coming in. Uh, so don't be afraid to download a, a, a radar app so you can actually keep track of the weather while you're out on the water. And then of course, uh, like I mentioned before, in case you're wondering about parking, that was a big thing for me. I was actually on Google Satellite uh, before I even left for Plattsburgh to see what the parking situation was at the marina. I was like, okay, is there gonna be parking? Because I assumed there'd be all kinds of people there. And I was like, oh geez. Well, what I did was I, I did some recon. So after the meeting, or no, sorry, just before the meeting on Wednesday, I actually went to the marina to just go see the, the lay of the land. And I got to see them setting up the FLW tents and getting everything ready and uh, they were you know, putting power to the trailer. Um, that's when I was pleasantly surprised to see that right at the entrance, there was dedicated Marshall uh, parking. So it actually had a sign that said Marshall parking, and it was right at the entrance, super easy to find. So uh, yeah, don't worry about parking. Uh, I, I wouldn't worry about parking. I wouldn't worry about, uh, honestly, anything. FL, but FLW takes really, really good care of you, so yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, in terms of my tips, I really uh, I think that covers just about everything that I was concerned about. Um, so yeah, like I said, be nice, be on time, bring the right clothes, and you're gonna have a blast. If you uh, if you have any other questions, please make a comment in the video. You know, uh, make a comment below and uh, ask your question. I'll answer as best I can. I've actually had a couple of people um, on some of the fishing forums that I'm on ask me about the Marshall program and you know, I'm happy to answer anything I can. So yeah, thank you again. If you're enjoying the content, remember please subscribe, like the, like the stuff, and please comment if you have a question or you just wanna say something, please. I do try to respond to everyone. Uh, I really appreciate the feedback. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, 
yeah, if you're thinking about being a marshal, do not hesitate. All right, guys, thank you so very much. Take care, and we will see you next update, next video. Peace, guys. Take care. Thanks.